Hi guys, this is Christina, the amputee OT. Finished my surgery. Uh, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Probably, I would say, the worst pain I've ever experienced. And that's saying something. Uh, I'm really drowsy and I just want to take a nap. So I'm probably going to do that. I just thought I would give you guys a little update on What's going on with me and my AK surgery? I just want to say that this button is my friend right now because when I press it, it administers morphine and that makes me feel slightly better when I have morphine. So I'm waiting for the green light to turn on. So I can be like, boop. Everybody, this is Christina. It's 7.45 on September 25th. And it's been about nine hours since I had my above the knee amputation. Uh, I just wanted to talk about some of the weird sensations I'm feeling. So it feels like my knee is straight out in front of me and even hyper extended. So it's a very interesting feeling. So kind of like, I feel like it's doing this. It's just like in the air. It's a pretty weird feeling. I haven't taken off these bandages, so I don't know what it looks like underneath there. And uh, mostly I'm just tired and in a lot of pain and the last person who came in left the lights on I might be able to turn them off let me check nope nope so uh I can't get to them because I'm tethered. Uh, but they said they were coming back in anyway because I tried to bring my breast pump with me, but the battery to it will not charge. It's totally 100% dead, which makes sense because I haven't used it in about a year. Ugh. Adrian went home to be with Orion. Uh, they're not allowing me to bring him into the hospital for nursing or anything, but I wouldn't today anyway, because uh, I'd be worried that he would touch my residual limb and hurt it. Ugh. Other than that, I was told that the surgery went well. I'm feeling icky. I look like shit. <laughs> okay. See you later. Bye. I definitely still have phantom sensations of my knee and my foot. As far as phantom pain goes, I don't know. I'm actually in a lot of pain just from the amputation site, so I really couldn't even tell you. tried to eat some hospital food earlier, pot roast. It wasn't bad actually, but eating anything kind of makes me feel a little queasy. So um, I'm just taking it slow. And also every time I start to doze off, even in pain, I can doze off this machine beeps at me and it's driving me a little batty. All right, so obviously in those last couple of clips, I was really out of it and in pain and under the influence of lots of medication. 
So, but I wanted to show it because that's the reality of getting an amputation is you can see a couple of hours later, I'm feeling much better. I'm able to get around using forearm crutches or my wheelchair. Whereas earlier I was tethered to the bed. I was not able to do anything. I've been using my wheelchair for a long time. So it, it's good to have mobility options when you are undergoing something such as an amputation surgery. Obviously for me, getting around in my chair is no problem at all. And I would not judge yourself based on my ability to stand at the sink and brush my teeth right after getting an amputation because I have been standing at the sink without a prosthesis on and brushing my teeth every morning for seven years. So I actually have really good balance for doing this, although it's kind of off. Even in this video, you can kind of see I'm using the edge of the sink. So if you're not able to do this after your amputation, do not fret. It is okay. That's perfectly normal. I am not normal. You can also see I use my chair without any locks. Don't do this. I'm actually setting a bad example. Obviously, it's pretty easy for me to get around on the bed. I just kind of scoot around, although it kind of is uncomfortable to sit down, as you can see. Okay, everybody, that's all for now. I hope that you found this informative and you subscribe to continue following my journey as an above-knee amputee. See you later. Bye.